your life. Hey everybody, welcome into the At Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel on this lovely Tuesday afternoon, the day after taxes. I hope everyone got theirs done on time and sent off and sent in and did what you needed to do. Uh, you expect more with Clearview and my what? thing's not muted. <laughs> I see Jamie stopped in to say he can't make it to the show. That's he could watch the replay. Um, Fader Faded is here. Hey, how are you? Welcome in. Smart and savvy Al. Good evening. Um, so I'm going to wait a little minute, a little minute. I am really super tired today, guys. I had very, very little sleep last night. So, um, if I seem discombobulated or weird, it's because I'm really tired. Um, we'll wait a couple minutes before people come in, but I am going to open this. This was waiting for us at our post office um, yesterday, and the name on it was RRR, so I don't even know who it's from. It was really, I don't know what's in here. Full disclosure, it is open, um, but I have not seen inside of it. As you can see, the whole box is wrapped completely in duct tape, clear tape, and eBay tape. It was so taped that Keith said he should probably um, open it for me before I went live because you guys have seen how I am with opening boxes. Um, it takes me a while. I, I, I understand that it's kind of frustrating when you guys watch me open things with scissors, especially when there's this much tape. So Keith did cut the tape for me so that I can just open it with you guys. And then um, I went into a different room and he quickly took a peek inside just to be sure that it wasn't like anything not safe to open or like a troll gift because it, it is completely anonymous and I don't know who it's from. Um, I was kind of a little scared. So Keith did open it. He did look inside. He assured me it's something I can open on here and it's not like from a troll or anything. So, um, hey Greg, welcome in. Trina, I'm like waving at you guys. Hey Jill, Mary, Robert, Zombie Bargain Hunter, uh, Jolie, Candice, Rhonda, hey. Um, you're listing plush while you watch me. I love to hear it. I love plush. Um, Jill says, I didn't know anything about denim. I scored four pairs of silver jeans, three for seven, three, f see, how tired I am. Three, seven for all mankind and two, Rock Revival. Oh my gosh, Rock Revival is amazing. I've only ever found one pair in the wild, so that's pretty amazing. Um, and if you're saturated with that stuff, get it. It goes, it goes, it goes. Um, I'm happy that you learned something that will help you make money. Um, so yes, full disclosure, this is open. Keith has looked inside, but I have not. I stepped into the other room. I just wanted to be sure because, I mean, I'm a really likable girl, but <laughs> there might be someone out there who sends me poop in a box or a glitter bomb or something, right? All right, so let's go ahead and open it. I hope there's a note or something that will tell me who it's from. Um, there's some air pillows. And, oh my goodness, I see what it is and he's cute. There's a card. Okay. It says, thank you. Star, thank you for all you do. Enjoy. So this is 100% anonymous. If you're watching now live or you're watching later, thank you so, so much. Whoever you are, thank you so much. Um, I already can see what, what it is and I'm very excited. Um, Y'all are going to have to watch me fight with tape after all. Um, yeah, true religion is one that does get faked a lot. One of the, um, things you can look at, and I learned this from Megan, um, the back pockets on true religion are almost always the flat pockets with the button and they have like the horseshoe on them. And then their tags inside always, um, they say like admittance one or something. 
You guys, I'm really sorry about how loud this is. I'm really sorry. I know it's probably really, really loud to you guys. Um, the microphone's right there. But look how cute he is! It's one of those flashlights. Um, it appears to be a hippo. Maybe he's a pig. I'm going to call him a hippo. And when you push them, I'll have to put batteries in here, but they make noise and they light up. So, so cute. I actually had found a Frankenstein one before at the Benz and flipped it, but um, my anonymous friend, thank you so much. I absolutely love him. And um, we are currently in the process throughout this week and probably into next week. We are rearranging some things in the eBay room and trying to clear off one of our shelves so that I have a place to put all of my hippos from you guys. And um, I will then start filming with that behind me. So he will go on the shelf. Thank you again so much. Whoever you are, I really love it, it's cute. All right, so you guys came here to see what we thrifted. So um, we went to two Goodwills Sunday and we got 85 total items between the two stores. We spent a total of $83.29 between the two stores, which comes out to an average of $1.02 per item. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show you all 85 items. I'm going to show you a lot. I have a big old stack here I want to show you. And so here's what we're going to do. Normally, I, I start with my plush. Normally, plush is the first thing that I show you because it is my favorite. But because there's so much, I'm just going to start with the clothing. And if I get through the clothing and I have enough time, I will then show you all of the shoes and the plush. Now, if we get close to the hour mark and I haven't gotten through all of the clothing, I will be back tomorrow again for another live show just to show you the plush and the shoes. Except for this one pair of shoes we're going to start with. If you tuned in to my live show Sunday night, hi, Cherry Picker, welcome in. Um, I did show these Sunday night. As an example, the topic for that show was that ugly sells. And I did show these lovely pimp shoes. I did photograph these already, but they are not listed yet. Um, I got them photographed. That's a start. And um, they are new with tags. There's only one pair listed on eBay that's similar. And they're used. And one pair similar that has sold in the past that was new. So I will be starting these at like $80, $85 plus shipping. And we paid $8 for them, $7.99. Yes, church shoes. Exactly what I thought. Um, all right, so we're going to set these aside. My pile is a little bit out of order from normal. Just the way we ended up sorting the laundry when Keith brought it back upstairs. But... I do have a new tags item here. I did steam clean. Um, it's Hager, so it's an okay brand, y'all. But it's new with tags, and it was 99 cents. So green was the color this week. That was 99 cents. And yeah, it's out of season. But it's a brand new sweater for 99 cents. It's a large, so it's a good size. And that was the only new with tags thing we found this week, other than the shoes I just showed you. Um, see, I get stuff out of season all the time because when it's 99 cents, um, I can't not. So this is Mossimo. This is Target brand, but it's wool. It's a nice wool, um, like a blazer type pea coat. It's blocking my face. Um, I think it's just wool blend. I kind of like passed by it and I, I knew... Yeah, it's a wool blend. It's 72% wool. It was 99 cents. And I got, out of two stores, I only found two swimsuits. Um, they were both 99 cents. Everything else was like 10 bucks or something. Real high. Um, but I did find two 99 centers. This is a bikini top. I'm trying to find the brand. Uh, American Eagle. But it's cute. It's uh, underwire and padded. It's 
got the tie for the top and a tie for the back. And then I found a tankini, y'all. Um, we have in the past been very successful with tankinis. They seem to be really popular. This one's got a nice paisley, kind of like boho print going on. It's got a racer back. And I believe that I didn't know the brand. Um, but it was 99 cents, so I tr I'm going to try it. The tag says Raj, R-A-J, manufacturing. Um, and it's just this plain green tag with a U. If anybody knows what that is, you can let me know. Um, if not, I'll just look up my RN number. But I thought it was really cute for 99 cents. You know, I'm always, I'm always, that was the whole show Sunday. I'm telling you guys, it's not always about brands. Sometimes it's about cuteness. And that's cute. Um, it's a little too big for me. I Or I would have kept it to take to Vegas. Um, this is Disney Women's 3X. Oops, sorry. And it was 99 cents. It's just Mickey Mouse. But that's a really good size for um, a woman's t-shirt. And, okay, so we got a lot of examples here with the shirts that Keith picked out of It's Not Always About Brand. This was 99 cents. So he did find a lot of really nice shirts. Um, that, you know, maybe not such great brands or brands we've ever heard of, but for 99 cents when they look nice, we will pick them up. This has, um, embroidery on it. And it's a large, it's La Boga, I'm going to butcher this, La Boda Guita Del Madeo. Hey Chris, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Oh, Reseller King is here. I see you. Hi. Snuck in while I was hiding behind one of my shirts. <laughs> this is Cuba Vera. It is just a plain, it's a more plain Cuba Vera. Obviously the ones with the really great graphics and stuff will do better. This is just a plain brown, but it is a linen blend. Linen, bl linen blend. And it was only 99 cents. Then we have this BKE men's full zip sweatshirt. It's got like a sweater side going on. It's kind of cool looking. And it was 99 cents. Yes, you are absolutely right. So... Um, I got some booty shorts. I love booty shorts. I'm kind of moving them over because I want to get to the shirts, all the shirts first. This shirt is for me. Um, I am going to wear this to Vegas or take it to Vegas to wear there. It is Aeropostale. Um, it is, they're real soft, and I love these really thin, soft t-shirts like this, but check out what it is. It says, not now, busy saving the world, and it has Captain Marvel, her, uh, insignia there. So I got a nice Captain Marvel shirt for me, and it's really thin and soft, too. And it was 99 cents. Um... The Cuba Vera, it's going to depend because it's more plain. Um, and actually, Keith does all of our men's shirts, so I'm really not that familiar with what he starts those at. Probably like 12 if it's really plain. I don't know. If he's listening, he could maybe holler. What would you start that Cuba Vera at? He said he doesn't know. <laughs> um... It's really plain though. Like Cuba Vera is kind of one of those brands that used to go for a lot more than it does now. Um, and obviously the ones that are fancy, you would list for more. I would say offhand maybe 12 to 18 depending. So this is uh, Breakwater. Again, I'm not, not a well-known brand, but it's a cool Hawaiian shirt. 
and it's got um, the hibiscus flowers all over it. And this is Romani. Again, not a, you know, we don't know what it is. It's Romani. <laughs> but it's like a uniform shirt. And these do really well. This has got really cool. Um, it, it's like a uniform shirt, but it's not because clearly it's meant to be worn. Um, not for work. But these little pockets in the front are super cool. And it has all this nice embroidery. Hi, Donatella! Welcome in! Oh, uh, Robert, maybe next year. That would be cool if you could go. It would be cool for the two uh, plush royalties to meet in person, huh? Island Shores, again, meh brand. But it's 3XL, 99 cents. And this is a uh, button front Hawaiian shirt. It's got the palm trees. And then we have, oh, this is cool. So again, Model Apparel Custom Collection, but it's a really awesome looking bowling shirt. Check this out. It's got a purple stripe down the one side, and then on the other side, check out those graphics, y'all. Aren't those bad? Bad, I almost said bad dad. Well, I don't want to demonetize myself. Aren't those awesome? <laughs> and that was 99 cents. Yeah, it is a bowling shirt. This is, um, okay, we're gonna save that. You'll see why in a second. Um, this I just picked up because it's J. Crew and J. Crew does good on Poshmark. This is the boy shirt. It's a women's shirt. It's called the boy shirt. Real thin material. Real nice. 99 cents. Uh, yeah, I really like that bowling shirt too. It's really cool. This is Timberland. So, you know. Their shoes do good. Who knows what their shirts do. But it is a nice striped shirt and it was 99 cents. So was the other one. Yeah, the one with the pockets was cool too. I like the front pockets. This is a good brand for Pearl Snap Western shirts, you guys. This is a definite bolo. It's Eli Cattleman. This one was 99 cents. But this is a good brand. I'm trying to get it so you can see the pearl snaps. And it's brown, long sleeve. And this one we got out of curiosity. So it was only 99 cents. So if we made a mistake, that's okay. Because um, it's not a big loss. And we were just kind of curious. This does not, you know, the Supreme brand that makes the really expensive shirts. I don't think it's that. Unless they have an older tag that we are not aware of. Um, I guess we'll look up the RN number and see what's going on here. I don't think it's a knockoff. I just, either it's a different brand or somebody had the brand before they had the brand. I don't know. We'll look up the RN. But it was worth the risk for 99 cents. And besides that, it's a nice shirt. It's a nice men's shirt. Hey, Landshark Picker, welcome in. Tiffany's here. Y'all keep sneaking in while I'm hiding behind my clothes. <laughs> um, so let's look at the booty shorts. These are a brand I've never heard of. They're called Forever. Um, excuse me. My hair is in my face. Um, but they're cute. They're like dressy booty shorts and they were 99 cents. So I grabbed them. Oh, and this is Hilfiger, Tommy Hilfiger. Um, but they're skorts. 
And for those of you that don't know what squirts are, they're shorts that look like a skirt. And I've done really well with squirts before in all brands. So for 99 cents, I snagged them. Oh, thank you for subbing. I saw that pop up out of the corner of my eye. Thank you so much. Um, guess jeans, denim shorts. Denim booty shorts are definitely a bolo. Um, even the, you know, lower end brands. I just showed on our What Sold video last evening a pair of Aeropostale denim shorts went for $21 on eBay. So definitely something to keep your eye out for. These are Forever 21. They're cut off denim, but they're hideous. <laughs> Ugly cells. These are green leopard print. I don't know. They're cute. All these shorts were 99 cents if I had failed to tell you as we were going through. This is Express. It's an old mall brand, but these are cute. They have um, this lace overlay, crocheted lace overlay. So I grabbed those. Here's a pair of purple denim shorts. These look like they were cut off from jeans. And so I would just disclose that. I will measure like the whole overall length of the shorts and just call them um, no, these are meant to be shorts. Never mind. These are the high rise shorty. These are American Eagle and they're purple. I love them. So I will probably list those at 2021. 20, and I found one pair of men's shorts. These are hawk. These plaid shorts like this, like the men's golf shorts. I always pick up when I find them for 99 cents. Any brand, any brand will do. Those seem to be popular with the dude folk. Oh, these are super cute. These are Sonoma, which you guys know is like a JCPenney brand. Or, yeah, it's JCPenney, I think. But they were super cute. I couldn't leave them behind. They have these embroidered flowers. And on the back as well, on the back pocket. So they're just black jeans with embroidery on them, but they're cute. They have the flowers, they're size 16. So for 99 cents, I got them. And I got a pair of cords. Corduroy pants, y'all. I do really well with these all year round. These are J. Crew, and they are a good size. They're men's 34 waist. So I don't know how many men will wear red cords, but you know what? For 99 cents, I'm getting them. Yeah, it looks like I'm flying through this, so we'll be able to look at the plash in the shoes for sure. These are not your daughter's jeans. These are the Aleni Alina legging. They're size six. Um, but not your daughter's jeans are kind of like, I'll buy any size I find of those. These were 99 cents and they're kind of like that faded denim look. Yeah, J. Crew cords are great. Uh, American Eagle and Gap and Old Navy cords also are ones I do well with. So anytime I find them for 99 cents, I just pick them up. These are Joe's jeans. These were 99 cents for Joe's jeans. Da -da 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 -da. These are actually capris. Robert says, been so busy today. I finally got a breakfast. Wow. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping in. Go eat something. You got to take care of yourself. Um... These are super cool. So I got a pair of these in our second thread up box, I think. They're Anthropology, Pilcro, and the Letterpress. These are a bolo. I believe ours are up for 40. So these are a bolo. 
Um, like I said, I have never found them in the wild before. I got a pair in one of my thread up boxes and then suddenly I find a pair in the wild for 99 cents. How awesome is that? Um, yeah, most of the corduroys I, I deal in are women. When I refer, when I refer to corduroy pants, um, and the brands that I do well with, they're women's. I don't really find too many men's in the Goodwills here. Um, I do snatch the men's up definitely when I find them. They do better. Just like all men's clothing always sells for a little bit more and faster, but. Chico's so lifting. Definite bolo. Any size, any style. The so lifting, fabulously slimming and so slimming Chico's. And I got another pair of Joe's, 99 cents. Um, this was the day to find some good jeans for 99 cents. These are cute. Too. They have like distressing on the pockets. They look to be flare. Uh, they're supposed to be marked out. So, um, where did they go? That's the way they look. They're supposed to look like that. I don't even know where mine went now. Nope, can't find them. Doopy doo. Well, anyway, here they are. Do you see it? They have that stitching through it. That is how they are supposed to look. That is correct. Did I show you this pair? Yes. This is another so slimming. Chico's. This is the girlfriend crop, and these ones are green. And another pair. Chico's so slimming girlfriend crop blue jeans. And they were all 99 cents. Can't beat that with a stick. So, shall we do shoes and save pop? Uh, yeah, we'll save the plus for the last. And do shoes. Um, they're all mixed up in the bag. Those of you that are aware of my issue with shoes, <laughs> they come, you know, but they come into the foyer and I put them out like in little rows like soldiers and I saturate them in Lysol and then they dry overnight. And so Keith just grabs them and put them in this bag for me. So they're all mixed up, but we'll, we'll figure it out. These are guests. They have some damage, some issues, um, some scuffing and stuff. I'll try to clean them up a little bit, um, but they have fur and they're zipped. And they're super cute and they were 99 cents so I did grab them even though they're out of season um, these are cute like I wish I could wear heels I really do because I would so keep these and so they were the green so they were 99 cents they're Audrey Brooke but I don't care. That's not why I got them. I got them because they're cute. They're suede heels that lace up and then you can fold them down and have the fur. How cute are those? And like I said, we'll just kind of pull them out and try to find their mates. Um, I got quite a few. I don't really find too many shoes that are worth full price and then usually by the time they're 99 or they're not you know I don't find them when they're 99 cents so I did hit the jackpot this weekend as far as shoes these are Skechers jammers so these are nice for the summer weather they're real heavy they're nice I like Skechers personally um, Pretty much all I wear anymore is Skechers tennis shoes and then I have Skechers flip-flops because um, they're good for support for a bad back but these are cute and then 
now and then. Okay, I found his buddy. So these are Natural Soul by Naturalizer. And they were also, all the shoes I got were 99 cents. These are just like leather slip-on loafers for women. And these cute, 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 cute heeled sandals. They're Kenneth Cole reaction, but they are just super cute. And there's more. I hit the jackpot with jeans. <laughs> That's so funny, Jill. That's what I was thinking in my head. No and then. And then, no, and then. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, these are Talbots, but I don't know. They're cute flip-flops for the summer. I have a hard time turning anything down when it's only 99 cents. Because I feel like even if you get it at home and it doesn't comp or doesn't do that well, um, doesn't do that well. I mean to say it doesn't comp for that much. Even if you get it home and find that out, when you're getting stuff for 99 cents, you're going to make your money back and a profit anyway. So that's what we do. We try stuff. These are suede L.L. Bean. Um, they're like slip-on, but they also tie. And then, and then, <laughs> no and then. Yeah, I'm, I feel really gross. I have like a hair in my mouth. And I don't want to touch my mouth. Because I'm touching shoes. But it's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> um, these have also been saturated in Lysol. Uh, so they're not too bad. They're not too gross. It's not like when you see me in the Goodwill like consistently putting hand sanitizer on after I put them in the cart. Anger Hut. Hi, welcome in. Good to see you. <laughs> Jill says, I'm literally laughing so hard. I have like a hair in my mouth, but that's okay. The show must go on. These are Cupid. I did get a pair, another pair of Cupid, Cupid shoes before. Um, they just have really cute styles. They just look really cute. Look at that. Would you look at that? And I got some Hush Puppies. Uh, born 19, okay, that's not important. They're Hush Puppies. They're genuine Hush, puppy, hush Puppies, genuine. They're suede. They're just nice suede. So what's really impressive is like those guest boots have some damage to them and stuff, but the all the suede pairs don't have damage. Like, you know how suede can get scuffed and stuff? They were all in really good shape. And every single pair was 99 cents. All right, so we're going to get to the blush now. Maybe. Maybe. There's not many. I did not find a lot. Um, all of these guys have already been photographed, and they'll be getting listed this week. This guy's cute. Ready? You ready for him? Look how cute he is with his little tuft of hair. Does anybody recognize him? He's uh, from Disney's Oliver and Company. And he's Oliver, the guy. And he was 50 cents. And you guys know this is my brand. Those cheaply made plush that for whatever reason sell for a lot of money. Um, I don't know what's going on with his eyes. He has problems, but this is like a lobster. I was going to call him a crab, but he's a lobster. So he's just a lobster with some really funny eyeballs, but he was 50 cents. And this little guy. So I still source for the T.Y. Beanie Boos. You guys know the Beanie Babies really aren't worth all that much, but the Beanie Boos with the big eyes, 
Um, this one doesn't have the glitter eyes, but the ones with the glitter eyes especially, um, I do well with them. I mean, they're nothing like, you know, going to send my kids to college on, but for 50 cents, I pick them up. I'm trying to show you the tag. His name is, or her name, this is a Leona. So Leona's a leopard. She's cute. And these Webkins, these Gans Webkins, definite bolo. If you ever find them with their their sealed code attached to them, um, those codes do not have an expiration date. And there are still people I'm trying to show you his Webkin thing. Um, there are still people that look for the Gans Webkins and um, look for them with the code. And they're worth more if they have that sealed code. But even if they don't, you just disclose it and there's still people that collect them. And then they'll always, their GANs, or GANs, however you guys want to say it. But they always have that to denote that they're Webkins. And this one was just so cute. Look at him. I want to keep him and love him. He's a spotted sea lion seal adorable thing. And he was 50 cents. I, um, I still grab them if they don't have codes. There's actually a hippo in our store because I had two. I found two, um, the ones, have you guys seen the webkins with like the long stringy, I want to call it hair, but it's not hair. They have lots of strings. It's meant to look like hair. There's a purple hippo, and I put one in the store. I think the one I put in the store had the code, and I kept the one that didn't. Um, this guy is Angry Birds. Rio. He was 50 cents. And there's another. I don't want to show you that yet. I'm saving the best for last. Um, this cool cat, <laughs> cool bird. Yeah, the saber tooth with the code is definitely something to look out for. I have found him without the code before, but never with. This is Angry Bird Star Wars. It's the Chewbacca bird. He's got like these Groucho Marx eyebrows. <laughs> when I was taking photos of him, it was like I kept having to move his eyebrows so we could see his eyeballs. He's cute. All right, I've only got two plush left and I was worried that I wasn't gonna get through everything and have to split it into two. Shows you what I know. All right, this guy is so cute. Um, I don't recognize his brand. So, okay, all the other plush I showed you already were 50 cents. And then the, the last two were $1.99 each. Um, KIB. Anyway, I don't care. Because look at them. Look how cute he is. He is holding a Hershey Kiss. But his feet are little Hershey Kisses. Look at his little feet. They even have a little tag. And it says Hershey's Kisses on his little feet. I just thought he was so cute. And I do well with Hershey plush, so I did pay $1.99 for him. Rainbow Bright plush. Do my angry... No. Trina, they don't. I wish they did. Any kind of plush that makes noise makes it worth more money. <laughs> so it's like, ugh, no, mine don't make noise. But that's okay. Okay, so, this guy. <laughs> oh, large Ewok plush. He's ugly cute. Ewoks are cute. I like the Ewoks. Alright, so, some of you may remember I had, this is Classic Toy Company. 
he's upside down or whatever. Um, I have, okay, I have no depth perception. This thing's huge. Okay, so that's Classic Toy Company. I had two smaller owls. I had a pink and a green. Or was he blue? By two smaller Classic Toy Company, same exact owl, just a smaller size. And um, the same person bought them. She bought both. And I think it came out to just over $20 for the two of them, but they were the smaller size. So when I saw this big giant owl, I had to get them. I had to. Um, you know, he's got damage on his eyeball. If you could see it, it was hard to photograph too because of the way the light reflects, but he has like a crack. In his eye, he's got some damage to his eyeballs. But, can you see me? <laughs> he's so big. He's huge. And so, I figured, um, I'm probably not even going to comp it. He weighs over a pound. So, I'll probably put him up for like 20 with calculated shipping. Maybe 25 and then kind of go from there. Um, he'll have best offer on. So if I want 20 plus shipping, I might list them at 25 plus shipping to give myself some room for best offers. So, uh, but the other ones weren't, they, they took less than a week to sell. So, you know, these classic toy company plush, you guys, definite bolo. They are so cheap. They are like the cheapest claw machine toys, but... For whatever reason, they have a following, and there are folks who collect them. Um, there's different kind of people, you know, different kind of collectors. There's some that go and seek out all the different sizes and or colors of a particular animal. Because what they'll, they, that's what they do. Like, they, this owl comes in blue and green and, you know, yellow, red. And he comes in all sizes. So there's the people that you have one animal that they really like and they try to find all the sizes and colors. And then there's some people that just um, collect all the giant ones or all the dogs. Um, but I get messages from people on eBay all the time that um, the dragons are the most popular. The dragon classic toy companies are the most popular. They flip the fastest and for the, for the most money. And that's the one I get messaged on a lot. Um... A lot of our buyers of the Classic Toy Company plush will message us and say, can you let me know if you ever get more dragons in? Do you have this in a different color? Um, but they always, you know, they kind of like tell us what they're looking for and how they, what they collect. So I, I definitely recommend Classic Toy Company. I wouldn't pay a lot for them though. So if you, you know, your goodwill is out of their mind and they want like 10 bucks, no. Um, I pay like up to two, three bucks for these really big ones. And most of the small ones I always find for like 50 cents or 99 cents or something. Um, so I really wouldn't pay a lot for them. But you guys, these classic toy company, I talk about them all the time because they're just so popular and they're so cheap that, um, I really don't think Goodwill ever really will mark them up unless they watch my videos. Um, but yeah, they're like. Nobody really knows what they're worth or that they're that popular, I guess. All right, I'm going to put this owl down. I'm going to get a drink of water. And um, before I take off, if you guys have any questions at all that you want to ask me, now's the time. Um, it can be about plush, clothes, hauls, sourcing, thrifting. It doesn't have to be about reselling. Any questions at all, go ahead and shoot them into the chat now and I'll try to get to you. I am about four days behind on the comments on YouTube. Um, I'm sorry if, if you're waiting for the answer to a question. Um, I get behind on those real quick. Um, the best way to get a hold of me is either to pop in a live show and you could ask live and I can answer you. Or you can join our Facebook group. The link is in the box down below. And um, tag me in a post there. I check in the Facebook group every couple of hours. And I get notified when I'm tagged. And that's like the quickest, best way to get a hold of me. Let me get a drink of water. Alright, so if nobody has any questions, then um, I guess we'll wrap it up and I won't keep you the full hour. Um, 
do join our Facebook group if you're not a member. We have a lot of fun in there. Um, it's still a relatively small group, and everyone really gets along. Everyone's very positive, very helpful, and um, again, it's the best way to get a hold of me, quickest way. And um, like this video before you leave. It does help the channel, guys. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And um, if you haven't already and you'd like to, you could subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. And uh, I love to hear from you guys. So anytime you have questions, you know, comment on the videos or find me on social media. Um, I do have a question real quick before I let you go. Uh... I don't, I don't think, the question is, do you find that there are some brands of clothing that you just can't sell? I don't really think that there's like one blanket brand. There's certain items that I can't move, but then something of that brand different will sell, if that makes sense. Like I have, um, we have some really old Gloria Vanderbilt jeans that have been sitting around forever that I finally have, um drop the price on and like charge shipping and put free free returns on it to try to move them and then I've had Gloria Vanderbilt jeans that sold overnight so I don't know it, you know and it, it, it's all dependent on the size of the item how like what it looks like how in style it is if it has graphics um smaller sizes take longer so it's like all relative. I don't think there's any one brand that we just can't move. There's certain items that we can't move within brands. Um, actually, I've sold Fated Glory and I've done fine. It's not nothing I sourced. Um, when we got the inventory from my friend that we inherited, um, there was a lot of Fated Glory new tags and I listed it all for like 12, 14 bucks and it sold. I do not buy Calvin Klein jeans. That is one brand that when we first started, we did source for 99 cents. Uh, I just kind of pass on them anymore. So, actually, Roger, I'm just about to leave. <laughs> so sorry you came in at the end. Um, you can always watch the replay. I, uh, um, no, a lot of people will tell you Fade of Glory won't sell, but it will. Anything will sell. But... Should you source anything? No. But, you know, when you're given a bunch of stuff for free, new with tags, um, I listed it. I have a pair of Fade of Glory shorts that came in my last startup box, and I'm going to tell you what, if I'm ever low on inventory, I'm listing them. <laughs> um, actually, there used to be a joke a long time ago, and I stopped, um, I stopped feeding into it so much when I started to get a bigger subscriber face subscriber base on the YouTube channel because I didn't want anybody that didn't know I was joking to take me serious but a long time ago in Casey's big group um, there used to be a joke that I was the queen of fate of glory and I used to joke around tell people that I made millions of dollars and I sold tons of fate of glory and it was like this big inside joke um, but I don't do it anymore because I don't want anybody to hear me and think I'm serious because it, it you shouldn't you know you shouldn't be sourcing that um, Marvin, I, I, cut from the cloth and White House Black Market are slow. Um, most clothing brands are going to take you four months or longer to sell. So, I don't, I don't know how long your items have been sitting that you think they're not selling, but, uh, a big misconception of a lot of new sellers is that things are going to move fast, and they just, they don't. Most of your brands are going to take four months or longer to sell. And only at like nine months should you be questioning if it's not moving for you. Um, do you find sharing on Posh can make up for not listing? I do both, so I don't, I don't, I don't have any experience with that. Um, I would think if you're sharing two or three times a day, but you're not listing new items each day, you would still be seen enough that your items should be moving, but you should also be listing every day, even if it's only five. 
Like, even if you could only get five things in your posh closet every day, you should be. But if you can't, and you're still sharing, I mean, you, you got to kind of look at, you know, what's better than nothing. There's times when we can't get to eBay to list anything new, so we do our unsolds. I'd rather put new stuff up, but you do what you can to, like, fool the algorithms to thinking you're active. If you don't have time to do the whole kit and caboodle. But, um, I cross post five every night. Every night. That does not make up for not sharing. I can tell you there's been times where I haven't had time to share two or three times a day. But I still put five new items up. And I definitely saw a decrease. Um... I mean, if you don't feel like listing, you don't feel like listing, but understand when you do that, you're going to probably have a drop in sales. I mean, there's days I don't feel like listing and I, I either force myself to do it or when my sales are slow the next day or two, I know why. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, this time I really am going to, um, let you guys go. I already, um... I already did the whole <coughs> outro so you guys know um, join the Facebook group like the video subscribe to the channel and um, we're on social media at flipping hippos everywhere thank you so so much for hanging out with me today and looking at all of the goodies that I got with me I really appreciate you guys spending your time with me um, go be productive go make money Everybody have a really good night. Thank you again. Mwah. Love you guys.